were there little, you know, class pranks to other class, um, underclassmen that you would do? Or? Well, we, yeah, we kind of, we, once in a while they would short cheat in, in the dorm and do things like that. Uh, then, then, then it got to kind of progressive. The students could live out. They could get married. It used to be they couldn't get married, and then we let them get married the last six months. And uh, let's see. Then we started taking. Occasionally, we took would take a married student. There was one that came in in the sixties, fifties. Uh, the one to study um, to get her license. Her husband was a, a, um, a missionary. And she wanted to be an RN over in Africa as well with him. And so at times you, you, we would take one exceptions. But um, it wasn't probably until the um, oh, 60s, 70s that we started really taking more married students and, and that type of thing. Because you, you don't want somebody to get pregnant and have problems right during the middle of training because mm -hmm. you, you really just botch up the whole thing. You gotta start over.